good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new WWE action figure showcase. And it's not just any action figure showcase for WWE figures, man. This is our custom WWE and I guess AEW. Gotta get used to saying that. Action figure custom showcase of 2021. We're about three months fully into 2021. Year just seems to be flying the hell by. And I'm about to, I'm about to shift focus, man. I'm about to do a focus shift. I'm about to activate my trap card. And when I activate the trap card, Brad, it's going to be all over and it's going to be great for you guys, but we'll get into that later. I may make a video on that this week or something, but let's shut the hell up and dive in, guys. I mean, I've gotten, I don't even know if this is all of them. I just tried to compile the ones that popped in my brain. I'm sure there's some small fix-ups that I left out. I may have even left out a big-ass one that I'm going to regret later when I find out, or you guys will point it out to me and be like, you forgot this one, Brad. Well, I apologize. You can also tell that my voice is a lot better today. It seems that it is pretty much fully healed. I'd say I'm a day or two removed move until it is completely fully restored. However, I'm feeling pretty damn football good. So let's shut the hell up and dive in, man. This is every AEW and WWE custom figure that I have either gotten, made, received, commissioned, whatever the hell in 2021 thus far. If you guys would like me to rank them, maybe I could do that next month or something when we get a couple more in here and that way you guys will be a little bit more refreshed on it. But let's dive into the figure that's front and center right here, man. We have this custom Kenny Omega. Now, you're probably wondering, that's not this is not something that you You've shown off and it's not brad this is a custom kenny omega that well from the neck down it's not it's actually just the unrivaled series four but every head sculpt you're about to see brad i actually had custom made so this is my like determined kenny omega see i didn't want him to have the smiling face or the yelling face like the series four had right i need for the pick fed i don't want him looking like this all the damn time i need him to be you know in a different state of mind so we got the determined kenny head sculpt and then we have a, a few interchangeable ones here we have the like pissed off Kenny. So here is our pissed off Kenny. We also have like our yelling Kenny. So this is kind of a different take on the Unrivaled Series 4. It's a little bit different, you know. It's not quite like the same. It gives us a little bit of a different look. And then last but not least we have scared or crazy meme Kenny, which at first glance it's probably like, what the hell is that? But if you tilt it up, Brad, you'll notice that it looks like that Kenny Omega meme, you know, where he's like got the triple neck and he's like lean back there. Oh my god. So yeah, we have our Kenny Omega like that. And yeah, we have like a full like four interchangeable head sculpts right there. I would love to see every figure moving forward have that man. How cool would it be to have like figures that had four or five different expressions. Expression packs. AEW figures need expression packs man. Make them ringside exclusive. Have a Kenny Omega, Chris Jericho expressions pack where you can interchange the head sculpts so you can get determined. Kenny pissed off, yelling, smiling, you know all the different expressions. They did it with Batman in the ba in the past. Not ringside but you know who was that? I think it was like DC and Mezco maybe. I, I don't freaking remember. McFarland. I, who gives a damn? Let's move the hell on. There's Kenny Omega. Next up, guys, we have a couple Monday Night Messiahs. Now, these head sculpts were made by BEW Animations, and I wanted these for the pick fed. So, I have, like, my man Bun Rollins here with a thicker beard, and he's slightly determined. Like, he doesn't look just straight on. He's got more of, like, a, a focus, you know, and it brings more light to this head sculpt that we got over here. So, this is the head sculpt that we use, and you guys can just see the difference in how much he brings it to life. So, he gave it the fade on the side. The beard looks good. The likeness looks a lot better. Skin tone looks a lot better. More, a lot more life brought to it, but here is my Monday Night Messiah in suit, so this is more of like a promo gear. I, I wanted to use this for the Fed. I didn't make it for the Monday Night Messiah, but I put the gloved hand on there so you guys can kind of see what that looks like. It's the only gloved hand extra that I had because I've used them for this custom and that custom as well, so I'm kind of running out of gloved hands. Need to get some more of those, but there's the Monday Night Messiah in the suit. You also have this one right here where I just got this same place I got this hoodie for Roman and a couple other action figure clothes that you'll probably see that you seen on the channel. I got this jacket right here and it's this nice white leather jacket. I'll probably end up, I, I, it came with pants too. I tried to make like a suited, you know, drip Rollins that you know how he looks on TV right now, but I haven't completely finished it yet, but I threw it on this body just to give you guys the, the, the come up it's there and just kind of show. It says Grand Prix on the back, but it doesn't really bother me. I could cover that up or something, but there is the other Rollins. And then we have our Survivor Series 2020 Rollins, which is in the black, the metallic blue and the black right there with the stuff on the side, all hand painted 
did. So there is our other Messiah. So we got three different Seth Rollins customs that look pretty John Brown good. Pretty proud of those and the way those came out. Next up, we have a pretty quick one, but I had to include it, man. The new Trash Corbin, the new improved Trash Corbin. So we have the trash can attached to Trash Corbin. I feel like I haven't seen this man on TV, and it's just been a joy. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him on my pay-per-views. I haven't seen him brought up. So you know what, man? It makes me happy. It's, it's a smile on my face to see that. But got the trash crown for the Trash King Corbin, and there he goes. Next up, guys, is our Bane Devitt. Now, he's not completely finished, but this head sculpt was too damn nice not to show off, man. This Bane mask sculpted onto this head by BEW. Look at that right there, man. All the intricate details in there. You got all that silver dry brushing and just all the details painted, and the sculpt on that mask is incredible, man. I cannot wait to finish this Devitt. It's gonna look great up on the Ballard slash Devitt shelf. All the piping and stuff on that Bane mask is really legit, and I had to include that in the video. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, let's zoom the hell out before everybody gets blurred off. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's, but let's just, uh, let's dive into the middle here. We have my Fix Up Elite 83 Edge. Now, this one popped in my brain immediately as soon as I saw the Elite 83 Edge and I saw that we were getting the Daniel Bryan torso again, man. I was like, hell nah, bro. I'm putting the Elite 23 Cesaro torso on there. Seems that everybody is kind of following that same formula and I love it. I don't know if I was the first one to do it. I don't know if I inspired all those people, but it looks fire. All these different customs and fix ups I'm seeing on the chase, on the new SmackDown attire with the, you know, the UNC blue and black. I mean, this, this looks so damn sick. We also added chrome to the shoes to give it the full effect but this edge with the fixed up torso looks so damn good and it looks so much better than the Daniel Bryan torso so that right there is one of my proud fix ups of the year let's get into the big dog Roman Reigns man you guys will notice we have a couple gears here for the pick fed you got like wrestling attire Roman with the hair down and then you have the promo attire with the red hoodie and the man bun and just both of these look so badass man I also added the red gauntlets to these removable red gauntlets over there I know the gauntlets are the same I need to get some more of these to put onto this Roman, but this is my Bloodline MDT Live Roman, and then this one is also that, but it's a little bit different there. But these are just clean, man. I'm so glad I found this sleeveless hoodie on eBay. If you guys would like a, like, clothes tutorial on how to find some cool WWE figure clothing on the internet, let me know. Maybe I can make a video on that and showcase all the different stuff you can get. Uh, I think the investment's totally worth it. Just how these figures come out in these head sculpts, and man, I, I gotta get a zoom-in shot real quick of these. Just such good work by BEW again, and and the, the, the head sculpts really bring everything to life. So hopefully our Elite 88 Romans look something like this or even better when we get there. Now moving on, guys, we have a couple suited bodies. We have our MJF suited body, and then we have our Cody suited body. So I will say, I think the heads do need a little bit modification, but this is the Legend Series Ultimate Warrior bodies in the suit. You add the scarf in the MJF Series 2 head, and then you add the Cody head over here. I think the smiling Cody head would look better over here, but this is just two different options you can have for your AEW figure collection for a, you know, it'll add a lot to a display. I think it really gives you a different option for your collection. So there is the Ultimate Warrior difference. See, you could you could literally put these suits, you could put any heads on these suits and it works out well for me. I don't think it works for guys like maybe Balor or something because I, I feel like we need like a skinny suit, you know, and make it fit better. But there you go. Two different options for that. Moving on forward, guys, we have Luchasaurus, one of my favorite in AEW. Just, just such a specimen, man. He just looks so damn good. I can't wait for his AEW figure. This is just a custom made I made the neck down, but the head sculpt was made by BEW and Mad Reaper. It was a head cast, and uh, I added all the tattoo decals. You got uh, just a crazy different attire, just with white, gold, and black. I just kind of added some green accents and stuff. Really sick Luchasaurus. I can't wait again for the AEW Series 5 Luchasaurus. I think that's going to be one of the best figures they've ever made for sure, but I was really proud of this one, and it took me a minute to even remember if I did this then. By the time this man's featured on MDT Live, shish, the whole new regular-ass figure is going to be out, so hopefully that doesn't happen, but there is our new and improved Luchasaurus. We have a couple Ballers back here, man. We have the Elite 82 fix-up on the top talents, and then we have my custom head sculpt from BEW on my Elite 82 there. Gives him a little bit of a different look with the hair. He's got like his hair grown out there. We also have the uh, silver and black and gray design with the Elite 82 head on there. Black sleeve looks really damn good. Just gives you a kind of a different look there. Great for pick fetting. Great for just uh, another addition on your shelf if you have extra bodies laying around, you can make some really creative fix-ups. But there is the long-haired head sculpt, and then we have the top talents fix-up. 
Cody just plunged off the table. Not as happy as when Nia Jax did it, but there you go. Next up, guys, is a couple AEW figure fix-ups. We have my Kenny Omega with the repainted Series 1 head, and then I put an MJF torso on the Series 1 legs to give him, you know, more of a more accurate torso and better skin tone, and this was just pretty much a placeholder until we got a more updated skin tone. Kenny, I still think it works out great if you just, you know, you don't have that Series 4. This is an option you may want to take. It looks really nice. I still like the way this looks, even though it's not official. And then we also have the AEW Series 3 Pac fix up with the Elite 55 Neville head sculpt on it. And I don't really care for this figure that much. However, I do like this head sculpt on this body. It looks better than the one that we got. So I'll take it. You know, not the best, not the worst. It's just uh, somewhere in between there. Moving forward, guys, we have two different options for Bray Wyatt or The Fiend. Or it's it's not The Fiend, it's Bray Wyatt. But I kind of just mix and match some parts and stuff. I made an Ultimate Edition Bray Wyatt over here on the right using the jacket and and then I put the Elite 54 Bray Wyatt legs onto this guy, kind of giving us like a full leather jacket Ultimate Edition Bray Wyatt for the pick fed. And then we have this like man bun version, which is just the Elite body with the Elite 54 leg. They're pretty much the same height and everything. I feel like this one kind of towers over him just to maybe just a. Mm, I mean, they're pretty much even in height. Nothing too crazy there, but that kind of gives you like a little creative angle there. You get two different Bray Wyatts. These are really fun to make. And I feel like the, you know, the Ultimate Edition and the Elite theme body give Bray a much more broad torso it makes him look a lot better in my opinion so that's the reason I made these over just using a regular Bray Wyatt torso. Getting into some of the end man we got some of these fix ups we got this Dolph Ziggler elite chase fix up with the black smaller arm wrist tape and then the black boots which is just so clean man that's just such a clean look I'm so happy to finally knock that fix up out. We also have the elite 84 Jeff Hardy fix up on the elite 67 Jeff Hardy you took the elite 84 head put it on the elite 67 that makes for a really good face paint to uh, sleeve sort of pairing there. We also have this Triple H like 05, 06 ish sort of attire with the you know the pissed off head sculpt. I love this Triple H head sculpt. I wish they'd make a true effects version but using the decade of domination Triple H switching out the thighs, giving him the white tape and the black iron cross boots. That is a super clean fix up. Ever since I saw that decade of domination figure had to make that fix up and then finishing it up over here guys we got Shorty G with the Shorty G I did a torso swap with the Seth Rollins onto the Chad Gable legs. Shorty G basic head sculpt, which looks fantastic. And then we have a couple like MDT Bloodline Usos right here using some Cena legs and some Uso legs. And uh, the only thing painted on these is the crotch. I really would like to see some Milkomania Epic Moments Kurt Angle crotches and then do this so that we don't have this paint chip problem or anything. But it also like hinders articulation right here because their legs won't go all the way together. I need to like figure that out down here and shave that off. But I still like the way these Usos came out. And the last figure that we have, guys, is going to be the WrestleMania Edge fix-up. Now, you guys know that that figure, the WrestleMania Edge figure, I can't remember if I made this in 2021, but I had to mention it. I want to say I did this at the end of 2020. I can't remember exactly, so I'll just plug it here at the end. This Edge looked god-awful before with the head sculpt and the torso. This figure was missing quite a lot, but after the fix-up, this looks a hundred times better and it looks a lot more accurate. And, I mean, that's pretty much all I can say about that, man. But I think that pretty much does it for our custom showcase, man. I mean, it's been a pretty good year so far of 2021 with the customs and the fix-ups. Just kind of getting creative. I feel like we haven't done surgery in a damn minute. Need to get a new surgery episode on in here, but haven't quite made it to that just yet, but when we get there, it will be absolutely fantastic, but before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout-out, and this shout-out is gonna go to the Hat 1244 who says, I like that he's still putting out videos while being sick. He's the GOAT. Hope you get better, Brad. Huge shout out to you, man. I really appreciate that. You know, I, I, I don't, you know, I don't rest on my laurels. You know, you got to keep grinding away. You got to put out the content for the My Damn Nation, for the MDT Nation out there. The Hat 1244, shout out to you, man. I appreciate the kind comments and everything like that, but I am feeling a lot better. I appreciate everybody reaching out to me while I was feeling under the weather, but I feel a lot better now, and I'm going to continue to get a lot better here, but the voice is sounding a lot better, a lot more consistent, not feeling so freaking like vibration-y and deep and awfulness and just terrible and just hey, hey, it hurts me. Thank God I never had like a sore throat or something, because that's like, oh uh, man, you feel terrible. When you have a a sore throat or like strep throat oh my god luckily i never had any of that but it's just the hoarseness and just the i don't know it's just like my voice box or something was like hell nah brad you want to say things you don't get to say things but who's speaking now brad who's speaking now my voice box crossed the line but then he came back across the line because he was like yeah maybe i went a little bit too far but when he did cross the line you already know what happened you <laughs> 
Cross the-